This is a wedding junk journal that I just finished for someone who's getting married. This is the front, and I've just tied it together with a piece of sari silk. Get that out of the way. In the frame, it says always and forever. And then I put a tassel on the side. It has a pretty cross. I am not seeing this very well. Let me see if I can adjust it just a little bit. Ah, that might be better. And in the tassel, I have some beads. These are store-bought beads that I strung together. These are paper beads that I made. Let's see, this little one's on here. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they are glittery. What I used on these glittery ones was some cheap glitter nail polish from the Dollar Tree. And then I bought this stuff here that was recommended on a YouTube video to put over the paper beads after you make them. And it did work really well. Where'd that one go? These are the two paper beads that I didn't use glitter on, but you can see they're kind of shiny. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they're, they're smooth and, and shiny, so it works well. So I just added some lace and different things to the tassel. The um, paper beads, my husband made me... Okay, let's just show you this. This is the tool that he made me to use paper beads. And so I started playing with it um, using scrapbook paper that I didn't particularly like. And some of them just turned out really gorgeous. I haven't sealed those up or anything yet. There was another one he made, but this one works out better because of a big handle there. I do have some Well, I'm not sure. Oh, they're right over here. But I've already put glitter on it. I don't know. I don't think you can tell in the video that they're glittery. But they are absolutely just gorgeous using scrapbook paper that I really don't like and cheap dollar store uh, nail polish. So that's been kind of fun. But anyhow, back to the journal. This is the front cover. I added some more beads on there with a feather charm. There, that's better lighting. And this, this paper I thought was just beautiful. I didn't want to cover it up with any tag tabs or tucks or tags or anything. So I just loved it because I thought it was beautiful. This says constantly, consistently, continually yours. a little butterfly charm that I put on there. Some more journaling cards there. And this says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. A 
couple more journaling cards. And I left a lot of writing space because I'm not sure if she'll really use this as a journal, but I wanted the option to be there for her. And these just have little tags in them. This says, give me a thousand kisses and I'll give you a thousand more. This is a stencil that I um, stenciled with the Distress Ink. This is another journaling card. This is actually a paper clip. I thought it looked really cute. Right there. Okay, there we go. This is also a paper clip. It's a hidden paper clip. looks there with the pretty flower on it. This says Miles of Memories and it has a journaling card. And that has a pretty saying on it every once in a while in the middle of an ordinary life love gives you a fairy tale. This looks kind of plain. I may have to add something to that. This is made out of a napkin. I decoupaged the napkin. Well, first I did, um, as you can see, book page, and then I decoupaged the napkin over that. So it's a journaling card. That was my one of my first attempts with napkins, and I really had fun doing that. And these pages are just so pretty, the scrapbook paper, that I just, I just left them alone, let their beauty shine through. This says, moments with you are as endless as the stars. And then it just kind of opens with some tags in there. And this says, don't be afraid, there are two of us now. I found this on a YouTube video where they made an envelope and they made it all wonky. See how that's not the shape of an envelope, it's just kind of wonky. And I thought that was really neat. So I made one of those, I just put a piece of paper in there um, she could use it for whatever she wants, but I thought that was kind of cool the way they did those envelopes. And I need to go back and find that video so that I remember how to do it. And then I added a little key charm here. Another journaling card. Tag stuck in there. Another journaling card. This is also a napkin. So like I said, I had lots of fun with the napkins. And this says, you are my love story and I write you into everything I do, everything I see, everything I touch and everything I dream. You are the words that fill my pages. And that says, the best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been, and the memories 
we've made along the way. Also right on the back of that, use it as a journaling card. This is just a notepad. Okay. This is also a paper clip. And it says, I have found the one my soul loves. This says, time has a way of showing us what's really important. Another journaling card. And that is 1 Corinthians 13, 7. And this is a little bit about this journal. Okay, this says, sitting next to you is like taking a sip of eternity. The sun, the stars, the sky never tasted so good. Some tags in there, journaling cards, tag. And some more journaling cards. This is a paper clip. And this is another little charm that I added. This is a notepad. Put a tag and a tuck there, and then it opens up. We have a journaling card here piece of paper in this one. Of course, she can take these out and put whatever she wants in there. Piece of paper in this one. And another journaling card, which I think that one's getting kind of squished. But I may have to see if I need to cut that down a little bit. I don't think so. I think I just had it in there sticking out a little bit and it made it kind of curl up. Some more tags. Journaling card. And this is the back. And like I said, that paper is just too pretty to cover up. I need better lighting, don't I? Um, so I'm just going to leave it. So anyhow, that's the book. And I hope she enjoys it as much as I enjoyed making it. So thanks for watching.